Hello, my dear friends. This is Poet WP here again. Today, I have a dream I want to share with you. But before I get into that, I wish to begin. Uh, I'd like to ask the Lord Jesus Christ, please be with my aunt. Joanne right now in her hour of need. Amen. And in her honor, I wanted to sing a little verse from a tool song. Parabola. And if you don't have this tool album or this tool album, what are you doing with your life? Go out and buy them. Anyway. Sorry, I'm going to take a little pause. This body holding me reminds me of my own mortality. Embrace this moment, remember. We are eternal, all this pain is an illusion. Okay. Yeah, and like I was saying, these tool albums, man. These, these tool albums are awesome. Um, there's gateways to higher levels of consciousness in these albums. For real. Anyway. So, I had a dream last night. I had a prophetic dream about Brett Kavanaugh. And I wish to share with you... Take with it what you will. And make make of it what you will. Uh, we'll see. Time will tell, won't it? <laughs> okay, well, this is what the dream was. was this is what it was. <clears throat> okay, I was an observer in this dream. I was not an actor. I, uh, in fact, I was like a detached spirit kind of observer. Uh, anyway. So... In the dream, the Republicans were putting forth a political proclamation. And in drawing up this statement, they made an error. I mean, by the way, this is books on dreams and prophecy. Edgar Cayce, Dreams, Your Magic Mirror. Anyway, <coughs> they made an error. And while they were, while, uh, they were doing it, it was implied in the dream that they were doing something they knew was incredibly wrong. And in doing it, with, and while they were doing it, when their inner, in their inner selves, they were having like a shits and giggles moment while feigning a straight face. Uh, all the while as they demand we respect them. So... They were doing wicked, wrong things. They knew it was completely inappropriate and preposterous to put forth Kavanaugh. They knew he was as crooked as a dog's hind leg. And they knew they were putting him in place so that they'd pardon Trump and overturn Roe v. Wade and all, a bunch of other horrendous shit, I'm sure. It's plain as day, right? And then the Democrats released all the... Anyway, I'm getting off track. Back to the dream. They knew. It was, in the dream, it was implied. They knew. They had inner shits and giggles. Oh, we can get away with it. We'll push it through while feigning a straight face. <clears throat> now, in the dream, uh, <laughs> that snide, coy, willfully obtuse sociopath, Brett Kavanaugh, uh, he was meeting in secret uh, in the White House with senior Republicans. And all the old white dudes with one foot in the grave whose heads are in the 17th century. And that old, the old dude, Grassley, uh, who was heading the uh, chair, the, the committee, the, the Senate, whatever the shit, running the show at the Three Wing Circus the other day where were, the Democrats were uh, bringing, bringing the heat to their, to their horse shit. Uh, yeah, Grassley 
uh, he was uh, chairing. He was chairing the Senate hearings. He was the man talking to Kavanaugh the most, and he was informing Kavanaugh on the consensus that they had all reached. Uh, and <clears throat> they were all super confident. And then the Republican who was uh, Ka- uh, Grassley, who who was you know con- conferring with him and talking to him the most. They, they concluded their discussions, and then <clears throat> Grassley said, okay, we got it. Now go out there and send it. And at this point in the dream, I knew what he meant when he said, send it. Uh, it was implied knowledge in, in my mind. Um, what he meant was, Go cast that spell of deception. Uh, uh, in, in the dream, implicitly, I understood that these men, they, they carry the title of politician as a facade to hide the true nature of their work. Technically, yes, They are politicians, but in the heart, in their essence, uh, well, they're evil black magic sorcerers. I mean, it's just what it is. It is what it is. Quacks, if it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, you know, it's a duck. Uh, They serve the beast. Um, In fact, I'm willing to bet that half of them belong to some sort of dark mystery school. Like the Skull and Bones and all that other bullshit. Where they all get together and share dirt on each other and then do dirt with each other. And then they all have compromising information so they can always have blackmail in place. Usually with a lot of crazy sex shit, perverted shit. And then, so they can all blackmail each other. So then they can all get, push through a bunch of bullcrap and hold each, hold up, hold the line. They can maintain the suffering and the grid of deception anyway back back to the uh the dream grassley told kavanaugh we got it go send it so kavanaugh walked out of the building and he walked out to the va- to a vacant flagpole and a flagpole with no flag and he hooked up an american flag to the flagpole and he raised the flag um while he was doing this, Kavanaugh looked like he was experiencing the greatest, most happiest moment in his life. He was even crying out of joy. Uh, something was very off, though, because the flag he was raising was about ten sizes too small for the scale of the flagpole. And it just looked cheap, and like some Walmart clearance aisle piece of shit it looked all faded and it looked tattered not only did it look cheap it looked old and faded and tattered and and it was an american flag but it was an american flag not suitable for flying but kavanaugh somehow he couldn't see that he thought it was a gloriously beautiful flag and he raised it on up the pole very proud so kavanaugh sat and looked at his pathetic flag flying thinking it's brilliant for a few moments, with great joy, uh, set, you know, up at the top of the pole. But then, a ray of light from heaven broke through the clouds. And the voice of God said, Sorry, but you brought a word in your statement from, you brought in, sorry, but you brought in a word from your statement from a parallel universe that cannot exist on this plane. The word is mob. M-O-B. Now this is where it gets really strange. and I'm still trying to figure this part out. The word was mob. M-O-B. And I even saw the word in big, bold letters in my mind. Mob. Like mob, like short for the mafia. Okay, that was the word. The short word of for mafia. 
mob. Only God did not pronounce it mob. And uh, this is where it gets even more tricky. God pronounced it in the dream moob. Or it could have been moab. Moab. Or moab. Something of that nature. And I thought, Mo, Moab, Moab? Is it the Moab bomb? And I was like, I don't know. But anyway, after God spoke, whatever, the mob, Moab, uh, the pathetic American flag burst into flames. And Kavanaugh screamed, No! And his tears of joy immediately turned into tears of despair as he frantically tried to pull the flag down before the fire completely consumed it. But by the time he got the flag down, the flagpole with the little pulley system that you know pulls down the flag on the flagpoles, uh, it had already completely gone up in flames, and he was grasping it, falling ashes. So, yeah, they, they said Kavanaugh's confirmation... Uh, uh, whatever, when they finally confirm him, confirm him and he's, he's in there, uh, they said it will be made, the decision will be made at the end of the month. <laughs> okay. Well, my prediction is that Donald Trump will be out of office by the end of this month, September 2018. September is his month of hell. It's the final. He's going to be put in a psychiatric prison and he'll die there before he gets to trial. That's my prediction. <clears throat> and he'll die within three years. That's my prediction. In a psychiatric prison. And all the internet... And I say... And this is not... And all the internet card readers and psychics worth their salt. They're all saying the same thing or something close to the same thing. Something similar. And this is what I'm seeing. Uh... Now, I'm, I'll mention some of these channels that, that I follow and uh, I'll leave comments on. And I highly recommend that you should... And they're much more popular channels than me. I'm a peon. I just started a few months ago. But anyway, yeah, you can go look at um, Lena Rodriguez, Linda G., the Comanche Psychic, Tarot Politics, Dweller Between the Waters, Readings by the Empress, um, Melu, Malu. The psychic, I forget his full channel name. He's he's such a cool guy, very calming. I love these people, man. They're awesome. Oh, and uh, Ganga Terra, and and there's some others too. I can't think of. Yeah, man. If you. Are